Welcome along to highlights of the fifth edition of the Women's Dwarves Door Vlandron, a race which incidentally you can watch on demand over on GCM Plus. Territory restrictions apply. Five covered stretches and ten climbs littered the 120km route that started and finished in the town of Warakam. We will join the action with just under half of the race covered and a large group clear of the main peloton. Liana Lippert and Leah Kirkman of Team BSM amongst them, as well as Lucinda Brandt of Trek Segafredo. She was making her first appearance on the road after an incredibly successful season of cyclocross over the winter. The break was never given that much freedom though, and with 62 k to go, they were caught by the bunch. Brody Chapman wasted no time in making a counter-attack for FDJ. Initially, there was no reaction from the riders behind her, but Team DSM eventually took up the chase. They didn't get Chapman back though, and as she hit the clock to go with just over 50 kilometers remaining, her gap had risen to just over the one minute mark. 10 kilometers further down the road and the Australian was still clear, albeit by a reduced margin of 47 seconds. Behind, there had been a multitude of attacks from the chasing group, but the one that stuck came from Georgie Baker of Bike Exchange and Juliette Labou of Team DSM. Chapman was clearly feeling very strong today though, it took quite a while for that duo to close the gap, but eventually they did so with 34 kilometers of the race remaining. The bunch at this point though, still close behind them. Coming in towards the penultimate stretch of cobblestones, Trek Segafredo hit the front with Ellen van Dijk and Elisa Longo Borghini. World champion Elisa Balsamo was absent from the race today, perhaps saving herself for Sunday, but they still had their eyes on the win. And that increase in pace at the front saw a large number of riders at the back struggling to remain in contact. DSM were on a mission today though, with Florian Mackay on the move inside the closing 20 kilometers of the race. Who would be able to go with her? Brody Chapman, somehow finding the strength to bridge back to the front despite her earlier efforts in the day. Those two would eventually carve out an advantage of almost 30 seconds before the peloton started to get organised. Valcar Travel and Service doing the work on the front, with Mobistar in close attendance just behind them. And so the catch would eventually be made over the final climb of the day. Last year's winner Annemiek van Flurten forcing the pace over the top of that. It was still a very large group though as they went into the last five kilometers of the race and that would be how it stayed until the finish. It was particularly cagey in the home straight with nobody wanting to open up their sprint too early. Ruby Roseman Gannon was the first to do so for Team Bike Exchange but as she faded, Marie Lene of FDJ took it up. However, she was no match for Team Valcar Travel and Services' Chiara Consoni, the Italian taking her first win of what has been a very consistent season so far for her. Here's the side on slow motion shot and you can clearly see how much more speed Consoni had there in the closing metres. Congratulations all round came from her teammates. That one today was very well deserved for the Italian rider. This is how the top 10 looks, Consoni taking it, De Vilda in second place, just in front of Xavi. Uh, Pfeiffer Giorgi in fourth, Marta Bastinelli fifth, then Barbieri, Lene, Osoit and Sierra and Swinkles rounding out the top 10. And so we cast our eyes towards Sunday and a big one. It's the Ronde van Vlaanderen or the Tour of Flanders. We've got live coverage of the men's race right from the very start, plus the breakaway show before that, then it's on to the women's and then the post-race analysis. Make sure you don't miss it. We'll see you on Sunday on GCN+.